Play a clip. I mean, the desperation I'm seeing from some people. He cannot. This stuff is not going away, and it's going to drive him crazy. The desperation I'm seeing from some people. <laughs> it's gross. Mm. Like, it's really bad. Do you want to talk about any of it or show any clips? You want to put up anything that backs up what you're saying? Wow, I saw some stuff out there that's really embarrassing for Melton. It's really gross. It's really bad. Not since Andy Daly. <laughs> mm, I hate it when old memories get in the way of making new memories. Mm -hmm. I really do. <laughs> like, he's that kind of like, ooh. Ooh, I'm seeing some stuff out there. It's so pathetic. It's so bad. It's so bad out there. People are really desperate. It's so bad. Oh. Care to show any of what you're talking about? No. No, it's just really. I'm going to high road it. It's just kind of. It's like I said last week. Like, they take their shots, they don't hit, and then they get mad at me that they don't hit. I. Who? <laughs> what? They take their shots, they don't hit, and then they get mad at me that they don't hit. They're hitting. They're all hitting. Everyone's leaving you. Everyone's backing out of everything. What's not hitting? It's crumbling around you. Your wife's gone. Your co-host is gone. The goal's gone. Gino and Keanu are gone. Johnny's planning to leave. Corey's not answering text. What's not working? Everything's working. Everything's working. You won't have custody in your of your kids in six months if I have my way. <laughs> you'll, you'll be telling me it's another win for the toe. Uh, good news, we can now do three shows a day because Charlotte's not in the way. Uh, nice try. Nice try. <laughs> We're winning again. Steel Toe, your morning, noon, and drive time show the... What? This guy can't stop winning. You can't, you can't get him. You can't get him. So what? You've taken my wife and my family and my friends. <laughs> so what? So fucking what? 20, 26 days out, I've had to change my whole show. <laughs> so this is how you... Maybe you've never seen someone win. Maybe you've never seen what winning looks like. You're probably all confused. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Don't know... What else to do? They keep taking their shots. They miss, and then they all go crazy <laughs> that it's not working on me. Right, right. No, you look happy. Tell us again it's not working, but do it in that really sad energy you have. Let me rewind this back just for fun. Tell us it's not working. It's gross. Like, it's really bad. It's just kind of... It's like I said last week. Like, they take their shots, they don't hit, and then they get mad at me that they don't hit. I don't know what else to do. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. And I know some people are desperate for money, and, like, the anti-steel toe train might be a way to get there, but you got to remember... I'm the guy who's been telling the truth the whole time. You've got to remember, I'm the guy who's been telling the truth the whole time. April's not on drugs. We are not swinging. She's upstairs making candied bacon. Gino and Keanu have my back. They told me they support me. Keanu told me not to address it. They know this isn't true. Johnny knows I didn't do this. I, you just hate that we're having a roast and it's going to go on without a hitch. Uh-huh. Confessing his sins, talking about what he did wrong. That probably too much.
and like working through his issues publicly as talking about himself in the third person now well as privately and that you got to remember i'm the guy who's never lied to you ever you got to remember i'm the truth teller it's admirable and then two people get cried to by someone who has proven themselves to be quite manipulative now how has april proven herself to be quite manipulative and again it keeps going back and forth between Gino and Keanu are backstabbing fake friends, and Gino and Keanu got manipulated by April. Which one is it? And uh, all of a sudden, I'm I'm the biggest asshole who ever lived. Look, again, no one said that. No one said that. We said you abused your wife physically. Just, 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 what a fucking fake bitch victim. I know what it is. I see through it. There's nothing to see through. We're just asking if you beat your wife because she said you did. We're just asking if you abuse your wife physically. She says you did. She just says you did. She says you beat her physically. Your wife says you beat up on her. So you going like, I see through it. I know what they are. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. Ye- Keanu and Gino are lying frauds. Okay. I'm not, e- by the way, again, the stuff I learned this weekend, I'm not even arguing with that. I, I Okay. Okay. It has nothing to do with the fact that you beat your wife. It has nothing to do with, with we're asking questions about you <laughs> being an abuser. It's, like I said last week, it is what it is. You don't get a phone call. You don't get a text, anything like that. It's just, it's all very high school to me. Like, to me, it's very mean girls. Like, if a pretty blonde girl cries... Like to cover up their embarrassment. We're all wearing breast binders on Wednesday. Embarrassment or their mistakes. And then the big, ugly, loud guy confesses his sins and everything else. People are still going to believe. Some people are still going to believe the pretty blonde girl. It's just. Again, the, the, the duplicitousness here is wild. He wants you to believe that, like, you either believe he was psychologically abused or April was physically abused. It can't be both. It's like, no, there are plenty of relationships where the couples are abusing each other. The way shit goes, it doesn't bother me. It's happened before. It doesn't bother him. It's week three of the cope. It's week three of the cover-up of the physical abuse he perpetrated against April. It's week three of him failing to address it head on. He keeps putting smoke screens around it. He keeps changing the, the facts and circumstances of the allegations. He'll do it again here in a minute. Happen again. I know I stand in the truth, so I fuck it, you know? Clearly. People want to shove their knives in their back when they think it's uh, an opportune time to do so. <laughs> I mean, fine. Again, he this false narrative he keeps doing like, yeah, I guess people are just taking this opportunity now that I'm down to stab me in the back. Again, these allegations are two years old. She was married to you. It's not new. Two years ago, she said you beat her. Is that because she's mad now about the divorce? Is that because she's bitter now about the breakup and the arrest? And the... No, none of that was going on. She was one year into a marriage happily with you, and she told your ex-wife you physically abused her. Almost two years ago. Keep twisting it, nerd. Keep twisting. Keep pretending like this just happened just now because she's bitter and angry about the arrest. Two years ago, she said you were beating her. Keep covering it up. Keep covering it up, Gumby. I heard something from a vindictive ex. Really? Again, she wasn't a vindictive ex. She was a current loving second bride. She was a newlywed. She was your second wife two years ago. She said you fucking physically abused her two years ago. Keep spinning it, loser. Like, we're all dumb. No, she's just vindictive and trying to get revenge now that she's been exiled from the movie compound and divorced. Nope. Nope. Two years ago, happily married, living under your roof, said you abused her. Keep spinning it, nerd. Every time you do this, you tell us you're guilty. Every time you do this. She's only saying I hit her because she's vindictive and 
and and and bitter about the divorce. Nope, nope, nope. Never let him do this. This was two years ago. Every time he does this, I know he's guilty. Every time. I'd take it to the bank then, because they're always telling it like it is. Ooh. Just the more he keeps calling her a liar about, again, it's just not a good look, man. He's not handling this well. The best thing about the mega tool storage chest from Harbor Freight is, um, it has enough room to store an average sized human body. If properly disassembled, oh, uh, 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 baby. Do me next. Uh, I stole the um, gross S uh, line and delivery from Nick. Uh, every emotion I talk about is from something I saw. Ha. I maybe never had a feeling in my life that that would count as healthy and except maybe hunger. And that really makes me jam in a slam mode. Ho. I only speak in quotes from others. I love cock, too. I, it might be true. He might just copy physical emotions from people. Not, not the guy who confessed that he's a giant fuck up and almost lost his children and did something incredibly degenerate and disgusting and awful. Don't blame that guy. Blame the people. No, definitely blame that guy. Don't blame the people who actually got arrested, aren't admitting any guilt, and don't give a shit. I- so again, he'll he'll come out one week and be like, guys, of course they can't admit guilt. Get off their back. They can't. They can't come out and admit guilt. Literally the next week, every time this this goes every other week. Literally he comes out and he goes. Guys, they won't even come out and admit guilt. So you're going to trust them? They won't even come out and admit guilt. And, and again, it's, it's a zero-sum game to him. If they did cocaine and lost their kids, he can't have beaten April. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, get mad at the guy who admitted he did coke and admitted that he was, was in a bad situation and got out. Don't blame the guys that are still in it. He doesn't know that. Don't blame the guys that are still doing coke every day. He doesn't know that. Don't blame the guys that are still shoving kid coke in their kid's hair. Don't blame those. It's like, what if we blame both? What if we blame both the people who brought their kids around cocaine, which is you, and the people who beat their wives physically, which is you? What if we blame everybody? Again, what if... if if April and Nick are bad people, you're a good person? No, you beat your wife. As a matter of fact, if we're just putting people in columns, you're the worst one we have. Sure, April, Nick, and Kayla go into this column. I brought my kid around guns, drugs, and unsafe situations. Sure, sure, you all did that. Then you beat your fucking wife. So you're the worst one. You're the worst one. You all brought your kids around drugs. You all brought your kids around guns. You're worse. Why? You lied about it. You're still lying about it. And you physically abused your wife. You're the worst guy. You're the worst one of them all. Kayla's not bruised from Nick. April's not bruised from Nick. They're both still over there. They'd rather hang out in a room with each other commiserating over an arrest that is going to wreck their whole lives than be in a room with you, the physical abuser. So keep deflecting, idiot. Keep keep darvoing it up. Who are you going to believe? Who are you going to believe? The guy who admitted he brought his kids around guns and drugs and alcohol and swinging? Uh, Who are you going to believe? Me, the guy who admitted he did all that, or the people who still haven't owned up that they did it? Not you, the guy who brought his kids around drugs and guns and physically abused his wife. You're the biggest scumbag on the planet, at least in this situation. Like, there is no one who did more and who won't take accountability for it than you. No one did more bad shit than you. Fact. I mean, those people are definitely the more, like I said before, stack my character here. There. Well, actually, no. Stack my character here. There's here. I'm comfortable with that. Melton's way worse than me. I beat my wife, but I said he touched kids. Which one's worse? Which one's worse? Me beating the fuck out of April or me saying Melton fucks kids? Which one's worse? You be the judge. You be the judge. Who's worse, a pedophile or a guy who beats his wife? That's what I thought. Arrest Melton. I'm free to go. Huh? 
Shouldn't we both get arrested? Shouldn't shouldn't I get arrested for fucking children and you get arrested for beating women? How does it work? Does everybody on the docket for the court that day stand up and the judge lets everyone go except the worst offender? Anyone here for rape? Anyone here for murder? Murder, sir? Murder? And and you? Traffic ticket? You may go. What? Wait, you robbed a store? You can go. Is that as bad as a, as a murder? No. Okay, you, sir, what did you do? You shot two people, but they lived. Okay, that's not murder. You can go. And the, and the guy who killed somebody is like, what the fuck? And, and the judge is like, oh, who are you going to blame? The guy who shot somebody and they didn't die or the guy who murdered somebody? Who are you going to blame? The guy who fucked a kid and the kid's fine now, except for some therapy? Or the, or the guy who beat his wife? I mean, is it the way any of the court works? We have to pick one person to prosecute for one crime? Is this how it works? We all just compare crimes and compare bad guys and we, we can only get one a day? Is there a quota? <laughs> how about we arrest everyone banging kids and hitting wives and doing drugs and uh, fisting kids with guns, whatever it is. How about we arrest them all? We don't go, your honor, your honor. I stood in the town square and admitted that I... That's fine. <laughs> if you make the wrong decision, that's on you. Yeah, it's not. again, it's not a decision. He's He keeps doing this where it's like, who are you going to arrest? Me or the guys who uh, did the... It's like, well, both. We'll probably just arrest both. What if we just arrest both? <laughs> Barry Wusa. Don't you remember he always tells the truth? Like when you didn't accept his boxing, like 12 times in a row streaming, I accept. Yeah, don't hit him with logic. He hates it. All right, let's go on here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Gurmy says, didn't you learn your lesson with hot tubs? No more hot tubs for you. So he wants to go on, but by go on, he means let's read another comment about this. I am Walter says, RIP Shannon Doherty. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Oh, God. Did we lose another one? I got people yelling at me that I've never heard of. And... <laughs> Uh, gig worker says he got hit with glass. Not a bullet said that. Uh, Jay Warren says Johnny's Friday show was good. I'm glad. Yeah, speaking of bullshit, some guy was trying to tell me. He's like, yeah, I made a clip. You should look at it. Johnny's talking shit saying you tried to get him to help you to destroy April. I mean, destroy her. She did that to her sound. First of all, she did that on her own. Ah! Second of all, I said I want her to get healthy. I want her to get better. I've never said anything other than April's the best, and we wish her well. I wish I, I, I keep sending her cards and flowers and pet goldfish. I want to see her live a full life. She's young. She's, you know, full of potential. Vibrant. Most of her parts aren't worn out. And then I looked at the clip, and I talked to Johnny, and Johnny's literally saying... Aaron was really mad one night, and we were he was venting to me privately, and he goes, fucking, you know what, just go on the air and thank her for your raise. Just be a dick about it. And then when I got up in the morning, I said, dude, don't fucking do that. That's a shitty thing to do. I was just mad and venting and blah, blah, blah. That's a weird thing now. Is like, And then they did it anyway, though. They did it anyway. I, I'm not kidding. I, I don't remember, and again, so much has happened, and it's all convoluted. They did that joke anyway. I remember it. I remember them going like, yeah, April left, so now Johnny can get a raise. Thank April for leaving. And Johnny, they did do that joke. So he's he gets to do everything. You understand how he gets every side? He's like, yeah, I did say that, but then I took it back and said that's harsh. But they did do it. But they did do it. So like he gets he gets to do everything. He gets to tell you he's so nice. He clawed back the bit. He gets to do the bit. He gets to tear April apart, but then also. Say that nothing you say matters because you don't care about April. It's like he tears April apart. He makes April look bad. He destroys her credibility. And then we all go like, yeah, and you hit April. And he's like, you don't care about April. You guys were mean to her. It's like, does that mean you didn't hit her? I don't like, yeah, I do. I'm going to admit, I don't care about April. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> I don't want her to get hit. <laughs> like, fuck. Because I don't care about April, you're allowed to beat her? Jesus Christ. Venting to your friends used to be a way for you to get shit out. Like, venting to your friends used to be a way for you to say things you don't mean in an emotional moment so you can just get that. So he's mad at, he's kind of mad at Johnny for outing his personal stuff here. 
He's not going to say it because he can't. But but the march for Johnny to leave is on, and then and then these two are going to talk shit about each other. I can already see it. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. That poison out of you. But now I've learned a very valuable lesson, which is people on the internet aren't your friends. These are just fucking crazy people who are obsessed with clout. Okay, so he doesn't realize it here, but he's conflating two separate ideas, and he's actually shitting on Johnny and calling Johnny a fake internet person. And again, he does this a lot because he's so emotional, he can't keep his train of thought right. But he's like, used to, you could just like vent to a friend. But what I've learned is like, now if you do that, like these people will run to the internet and tell them that it means something else. What he's complaining about is Johnny running his mouth. He's saying, I used to could just like get stuff off my chest and vent about it. But now I got to be careful because these fake internet people will run with it and tell it. Like it means something else. But the person he's talking about is Johnny. The person he's talking about is one of his only friends left, Johnny. Johnny has t- is a fake internet person who has taken this thing and run with it. And you've realized they're not your real friends? You, you shouldn't be saying that. Because again, I think he thinks he's talking about Gino. Because he's such a subject switching emotional bitch. He can't focus. So he he does he does mean this about Gino and and uh, Kiki, but really the person he's mad at is Johnny for going out and blowing up his spot because Johnny's telling everybody here what's really going on. Heart of Sight Michael says, "Are you forgetting that is known that it's he? Oh, it is it is known. It's been known that he's one of the best." Mike Boudet says, "This shit is wild, Big Sauce. Thank you, Mike Boudet." <laughs> Thousands and not more money than you've ever seen in your show. And that is, that was unfortunate to find out about two people I really did think were friends. Do you understand how he got off on the Gino and Keanu there? I, 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 I know I just explained all this. I am going to wind it back because you got to hear how he misdirected his anger at Johnny for talking shit about his night out at the bar onto Keanu and Gino. Like, how did that just happen? He's, he's going... You used to be able to vent to a friend at the bar when you were upset. But what I learned is internet people are fake. Keanu and Gino are the worst. It's like, oh, hold on. You're really mad at Johnny there. But he cannot attack Johnny. Watch. Shit out. Like venting to your friends used to be a way for you to say things you don't mean in an emotional moment. Watch. About it. And then when I got up in the morning, I said, dude, don't fucking do that. That's a shitty thing to do. I was just mad and venting and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he's talking about Johnny. I told Johnny to go stick it to April. Then the next morning, I told Johnny, don't go stick it to April. That's a weird thing now is like venting to your friends used to be a way for you to get shit out. Venting to your friends used to be a way to get shit out. In other words, I was venting to Johnny about how mad I was at April. I told him to go on and stick it to her. And the next morning, I told him, don't do that. That was wrong. But that's the problem is I used to just be able to vent. Now I can't vent because Johnny tells everybody that I was venting. But he can't come out and yell at Johnny, so he's got his twist is on to Keanu and Gino. Again, he's mad at Johnny right now. He was venting to Johnny. Keanu and Gino weren't there. So how does Keanu and Gino get the brunt of this blame? Like, venting to your friends used to be a way for you to say things you don't mean in an emotional moment so you can just get. Yeah, saying I want to stick to April, I'm vengeful, and he told Johnny Crutches all that stuff. Watch him turn it on Gino and Keanu out of nowhere. That poison out of you. But now I've learned a very valuable lesson, which is people on the internet aren't your friends. These are just fucking crazy people who are obsessed with clout. And that is, that was unfortunate to find out about two people I really did think were friends. How did we get on that? How did we get on that? Yeah, I told Johnny to do that. And then the next morning I told him not to do it. Man, you used to be able to tell people stuff in private and vent. But now you can't do that. I'm so sorry Keanu and Gino are like that. Do you mean Johnny? Do you mean Johnny? Why are you yelling at Keanu and Gino about this leak that came out about you wanting to destroy April? You told Johnny. I, 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 it's just a wild, it's a wild transference of your anger. You're mad at Johnny. 
but you can't be mad at Johnny. He's the only guy you got left, so you can't snap at Johnny. So now, out of nowhere, you're going to transfer your anger of Johnny onto Keanu and Gino. Okay. Um, but then, and then to hear them repeat things I've already confessed to back to me publicly. Again, that was Johnny who did that. That's what this started this all. Johnny said this private stuff out loud. So why are you yelling at Gino and Keanu? Like they're saying something. I'm like, okay. Like Gino was like, Aaron, it was Aaron's idea to do the swinging. He wanted to have sex with Kayla. And I, I'm like, didn't I tell the story where I said I pulled April aside during our vacation because she wouldn't stop talking about like the lesbian experience she had with Kayla the night before. So I'm like, okay, I think I see where this is going. Why don't I suggest this? And so I did. Hold on. So he wants us to believe that because April had a lesbian experience with Kayla, Aaron suggested he fuck Kayla. Does that even make sense? He told us before he pulled April aside in Vegas and, and suggested that they, that, and told her he wanted to sleep with Kayla. But now he's trying to spin it like, no, I already told you guys this. Uh, she had a lesbian experience, and so I, my idea was like, you know what? Maybe we should all fuck Kayla. Right, right. And I did want to have sex with Kayla. I mean, I, and I admitted that. And then remember I said to those two, I was like, I said, I was in love with her. And she was in love with me. And she said I was her soulmate. And I said the same thing back. To oh. <laughs> and I, I'm sitting here believing it, right? Wasn't it Keanu? Wasn't she the one who was Aaron? She was playing you. It was also April could uh, be with Nick. And she was, uh, Keanu's the one who put that in my head. Again, you've known this, in, this entire time that April was out fucking Nick. You know. You know. You wanted to get rid of her. Again. Do we believe this? Hold on. You think April was using me? I had no idea until they told me that. Does anybody believe this guy? Does anyone believe this guy anymore? Like, there's no truth to anything he says. If she hadn't put that in my head, my whole thing would have been like, yeah, what Kayla and I had was real. Hold on. So you were in love and she was your soulmate. And the minute you started telling everybody about it, you started sitting around her nudes. Again, get me these nudes. Get me these nudes. I got to go check my inbox. Who knows, you know? Get me the nudes. <laughs> Holy shit. And by the way, I still, I don't even have, I still want the uh, phone number to the tow, all, all town towing. What is it called? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was, and then she talked me out of it, which is part my fault, by the way, for being fucking weak like that. But, like, people get into your head and they fuck around with it when you're vulnerable, and then they yell at you for it. It's like, this is why, like, communication between men and women is so fucked up. Women are, like, so, like, go behind and don't be direct. And men are very direct. So what we've learned in the past few weeks is – Aaron went behind the scenes and tried to get Johnny to beat up on April. Aaron went behind the scenes and talked to Keanu and then uh, put words in her mouth. Aaron went behind the scenes and came out the next day and said, like, talk to Keanu. She has my back. She told me not to even address this, but they all have my back. Johnny has my back. Yeah, you're not, you never go behind the scenes and try to get stuff popping, Right. You're a straight up honest guy. You can't even uh, Aaron can't even fathom somebody who would be dishonest and try to get something done behind the scenes to fuck somebody over. Aaron can't even fathom it as a man. Men don't think like this. And so they can't conceive of the go behind and the stab in the back. So we kind of come off as big dumb oafs a lot of the time. But really all we are is like, "Hey, if you got a problem, just tell me." But they would go in there and be like, "She never really liked you." This was all April and all of them. And so, that, so now he's saying Keanu fucked with his head. He's saying Keanu psychologically manipulated him. So I, just, just to give you the gist of what's occurred, Gino and Keanu, I talked to them. They have my back. They told me not to even worry about this or address it. To Gino and Keanu, uh, Gino and Keanu have been uh, dodging him for weeks don't have his back and will not be coming on the show, not be coming to the 
the uh, roast, and he is uninvited from the wedding. Full disowning of Aaron. Full disowning of Aaron. We talked to April. We believe her. We know something happened. We're done with this psychological manipulator. So then Aaron goes, I don't blame them. They're my friends. I know that April's just manipulating them. It's not their fault. Cut to within minutes, they're backstabbing bitches who used me for clout. Cut to now Keanu had a vindictive, uh, you know, malicious intent to fuck with Mubi's head and get him all bent out of shape about April. Everyone just keeps doing this to him. Everyone, everyone just keeps fucking with Mubi. He April fucked with his head. Keanu fucked with his head. Ashley LaRue wouldn't leave him alone. His children just keep torturing him with retard impressions. Kayla and all them, they were conniving so they could pull this thing off, and they just got you to suggest it. And I was the one going, no, I suggested it. I saw the two girls having fun, and then April's talking about it the next day as we're in the airport, and then we get into bed, and I'm like, you want to do this? And we thought we were in a really good spot, so we're like, yeah, our relationship's fucking healthy. Let's do it, blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, you know, I believe the saying is not even once. Then you introduce cocaine into the picture, and falls apart real fast tell me when i'm telling lies but yeah it's just weird that those two would put that shit in my head you know i've been doing a lot of thinking april really manipulated me you know i've been doing a lot of thinking i'm a victim again turns out keanu and gino are fucking manipulating me you know i've been thinking about it and melton he actually like stole my show and and Owes me a lot of money. He really fucked with my head. And then turn around and go, I think he just wanted Kayla for himself. I thought that's what I confessed at first, and then you talked me out. It's just, and it, it's interesting to watch the internet kind of see her for what she is. Where? <laughs> Where are people turning on Kiki? I, I, so, somebody even sent me an email, and they were like, no, in Keanu's comments, they're all negative. They hate her. I went and looked. It's not. Somebody sent me a link of, of the pages of Keanu hate Aaron can't stop talking about. Yeah, it looks like the internet made up their mind about those two women. Where? Where? Again, like every every time he, he tells us like there's all this this mounting evidence out there that like. And. You know, I, I can't say I feel bad because it is mighty opportunistic. All right, let's go to you guys. How? How is Kiki canceling your friendship opportunistic? What's the opportunity for Gino and Kiki? The Tennessee Tavern Beer Hall gig? These guys are, get. I mean, look, on their own, they're pathetic. <laughs> but... What's the opportunity? Like, yeah, as soon as they saw an opening to stab Steel Toe in the back and get some clout. They're, they're on a... Gino's name is misspelled on a flyer where they're working this weekend. They're losers. They're losers. There's no clout. There's no comeback for them. They're not on the up and up. They're, they're going to go perform for 20 people with a karaoke machine in the same place they did four months ago. Which, by the way, was their last gig. What clout? What opportunity? These guys, it's the bottom of the barrel. Pretend to do comedy comedy. <laughs> like, it's, sad. it's just sad to be like, they did this so they could get the Tennessee Beer Hall again. Yep. Yep. They saw, they saw all these pieces falling into place. Doing YouTube shows for 150 people. And doing Tennessee beer hall gigs every quarter. They knew it would lead to this level of prosperity if they just stuck it to the toe. Like, what are you talking about? Trump theories. Uh, muttering Jay, I heard the bullet was within earshot. Ah. Rusty Grammar says, and like a boss, Trump put his fist. Chicken Boy says, I hate being a member. Stop. Stop. Don't you talk about my chicken boy. I might be too high for this, says Dela. I got to get a warning, Aaron. I'm sorry. I apologize. 
PayPal, Streamlabs, Super Chats, Rumble Runs, suspicious last-minute Venmos from unknown listeners, lost and or cursed Confederate gold, Stoney's gift cards. Let's get a rally going. By the way, the assassination was a complete work, but all my stuff, I said, is remarkably real. Warning, we're about to discuss uh, conspiracy theories. Uh, Psychotic Assault says, why is this a members-only stream? Because I do one every week on Sunday. I just can't get to a set time. Oh. Uh, Let's see. Oh, geez, I just skipped over fucking everything now. Yeah, you don't have to say that. Uh, Shannon was one of the few non-woke celebs. Really? Clout? Because I don't think I have any clout to give, but I mean, I guess if you're low... I don't, I don't conceive betrayal very well. I don't even, I don't see it coming at all. I didn't see it coming with the, the group. Betrayal. You're a loser. People just don't want to be around you. Again, Kiki and Gino both said it. Like, no one sees you as anything other than an annoying, noodly goober. Like, sorry. Like, that. It, it's part your appearance, but most of it's your behavior and, and the way you speak. Like, your shit's all fucked up, and you sound retarded. <laughs> like, whatever that idiocracy thing is, it's like no one who hangs around you thinks. they. And they even said, oh, they were being so mean. They, were, they even said it. Like, the whole, every time they hung around you and every time they were around you, it's like they never took you seriously. They never thought you were, like, a, a man. They never t- took you as, like, a, a serious broadcaster or like even a man no one thinks of you as a man you're a noodle a noodle goober like i swear dude like no one takes you seriously he doesn't get it he's like like there's no one watching you walk around who's not like look at this idiot look at this goobery idiot 